With the visit of the North Korean Taekwondo team to South Korea this week, President Moon Dae-in has called for the two sides to collaborate at next year's Winter Olympics in South Korea's alpine town of Pyeongchang. But North Korea's visiting representative for the International Olympic Committee has been quick to downplay any expectations. Kwon Jung-ho has the details. At the opening of the World Taekwondo Championships in Muju over the weekend, President Moon Jae-in welcomed the North Korean Taekwondo team and its delegates and called on the two Koreas to once again join hands in the sporting field. With the Winter Olympics in Pyeongchang, South Korea approaching next year, Moon revived the idea of the two Koreas entering the opening ceremony together. <laughs> But that could prove to be wishful thinking, as so far no North Korean athlete or team has qualified to participate in the Games, and only a single figure skating pair remain in contention. That has led to other suggestions being floated. A joint women's ice hockey team has been proposed, as well as the idea that North Korea could host some ski events. However, Chang Wung, the sole North Korean representative for the International Olympic Committee, who is part of the visiting delegation, was quick to lower expectations. At a dinner on Saturday, he is reported to have explained that when a joint team for the World Table Tennis Championships was put together in 1991, it took 22 rounds of inter-Korean talks, lasting over five months, adding, that is the reality we are faced with. He also expressed doubts over North Korea holding a ski event, saying, speaking as an Olympic expert, I think it's a bit late. That has led to other joint sporting ventures being explored. Seoul Mayor Park Won-sun, at a lunch meeting with Chang on Sunday, brought up the idea of reviving the annual Seoul Pyongyang amateur football match. The match's roots go back to 1929, but it was stopped after the peninsula became divided in 1948. Chang said he would deliver the suggestion to Pyongyang when he returns on Saturday. Kwon Jang-woo, Arirang News.